the only number one seed still alive in the 2016 NCAA tournament, hopes to be the one left standing in Houston next Monday. The North Carolina Tar Heels advance to the Final Four, the top seed in the East region, defeating the number six seed, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, by a score of 88-74 to in the East Regional Final here at the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. For the Tar Heels, they will make their 19th Final Four appearance more than any other school in Division I college basketball, but making their first Final Four appearance in the national semifinals since 2009. And for people in Tar Heel country and in Chapel Hill, not going to the Final Four in seven years is an eternity. And like most of the games North Carolina has played in the NCAA tournament so far, their opponent was able to match them blow for blow in the first half. The Notre Dame Fighting Irish shot almost 60% in the first half. Carolina shot over 60% in the first half, but Notre Dame was able to make six out of their 10 three-pointers in the first half. Notre Dame only down five, 43 to 38 at halftime. In the second half, Carolina established their inside game. Kennedy Meeks, their big man scoring Carolina's first eight points in the second half, but Notre Dame made a run and took the lead 52 to 51, but after Notre Dame's run, Carolina responded with a 10-0 run of its own, and they were able to seize control of the game and win this game and advance to the Final Four. For the Tar Heels, all five starters scoring in double figures, led by the East Region's most outstanding player, Bryce Johnson, 25 points and 12 rebounds. Marcus Page, the point guard for the Tar Heels, also on the all-tournament team, all-regional tournament team here in the East Region. He had 13 points as well. And after the game, I also got to talk talk with one of the other starters who scored in double figures for the North Carolina Tar Heels, Justin Jackson. And I asked him to begin our conversation. What does it feel like to finally lift the Tar Heels to the Final Four? Happiness. Um, you know, we took another step that we had on our on our checklist. Um, and to experience this type of stuff with these with these guys, with my brothers, I mean, it's a great feeling. It's an interesting dynamic because you're expected to go to the Final Four wearing the jersey and wearing North Carolina, but this is your first experience. Can you allow yourself to be really happy? Because there's a lot of burden on your chest with North Carolina on the chest. I mean, forget the burden. Um, you know, this is the team that, that we've got, um, and we made it to a big, a big part in the tournament. Um, and, I mean, of course, we're going to enjoy this a whole lot. Um, this is what teams all year try to play for, um, and we've made it to the final four teams. Um, so, you know, whatever burden or pressure that, you know, people might put on us as North Carolina Tar Heels, I mean, we kind of look past that and we just play for each other. Another first half where you guys were neck and neck uh, with your opponent, and then the second half you started to really stretch it out. What was the key in not just this Notre Dame game, but in the Florida Gulf, Gulf, Gulf Coast game, as well as the Providence game, and stretching out games in the second half? Um, you know, all it was was just defensively. Um, we kind of clamped down, um, and we got in transition after that. We got stops. Um, got the ball down low. I think we did a really got, good job tonight of getting the ball down low and kind of, you know, hitting them pretty big down there. Uh, even though Notre Dame was hitting a lot of threes in the first half, you guys were hitting a lot of threes in the first half, even though the game was close, did you feel as if this game was to your tempo, even though Notre Dame was keeping up in the first half? Um, no, honestly, they were kind of playing at their tempo on their offensive end. Um, but for us, I feel like we did a good job on, on our offensive end to kind of you know, even though they were trying to slow it down to push it back at them. Um, and so I think we did a pretty good job of that. Uh, how much did you really want to do this for Marcus as well as for Bryce Johnson, two seniors? Um, them and Joel, Joel. Um, and Joel, yes. They're a lot, yeah, seniors as well. It's huge, um, you know, for the seniors, what they've been through uh, for these four years and everything that they've done for Coach and this program. I mean, it's huge. Uh, Tom Ball, Texas, just what? A half hour north of uh, Houston, Texas, on I-45. Uh, what's it going to mean for you to be back in Texas for the Final Four? Um, it's huge. Um, you know, for us, we didn't really care where the Final Four was going to be at, um, but we really wanted it yeah. to. Uh, <laughs> we really wanted it to. Uh, <laughs> we really wanted it to uh, just to make it there. So it was good. Are you a better photo bomber than any of your other teammates? 
Ah, uh, no, not really. Uh, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Justin Jackson, congratulations on the win and have fun in Houston. Appreciate it. We thank Justin Jackson for the conversation. We also thank Theo Pinson uh, for the photo bomb um, at the end of the interview. I was standing in front of Theo Pinson's locker, so I guess I had it coming. But once again, the North Carolina Tar Heels off to the Final Four. The Final Four is set next Saturday in Houston at NRG Stadium. The first game will be the number two seed, the Villanova Wildcats out of the South region. They defeated the Kansas Jayhawks in the South regional final. They will take on the number two seed from the West region, the Oklahoma Sooners and Buddy Heald. Oklahoma defeating the top seed, the Oregon Ducks in the West regional final. And then the game after that, will be the North Carolina Tar Heels, the number one seed here in the East region, taking on Cinderella Syracuse. Cinderella Syracuse? Yes, Cinderella Syracuse, the number 10 seed out of the Midwest region, advancing to the Final Four after stunning the Virginia Cavaliers and coming back from a 16-point deficit at the United Center in Chicago. So it will be an all-ACC matchup in the second game in the Final Four, North Carolina and Syracuse. That comes after the Oklahoma and Villanova game. That game will start just after 6 o'clock. So stay tuned to a lot of sports talk and a lot of sports talk.com. We will preview the Final Four in Houston, Texas, and also we'll have the latest edition of the A Lot of Sports Talk podcast coming up. So once again, the North Carolina Tar Heels to the Final Four again after an 88-74 win over the number six seed, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, number one North Carolina, the only number one left in the NCAA tournament to Houston. From the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, my name is Adesina Koike for AlotofSportsTalk.com.